While lawmakers figure out how to handle an overburdened VA medical system with long waits, Aid on Your Side has found a way to give military members the help they need now through community-based treatment centers. News Channel 8's Gail Guayardo explains how it can help members of our military, especially those still on active duty, get the help they need right now. That's right, and on this National PTSD Awareness Day, there are a lot of active military members that, quite frankly, don't want to seek treatment. They're worried about what information they're going to have to disclose and how it might affect their job on base. So I'm going to tell you about a place where men and women of the armed forces can go. It's free, it's with a licensed doctor, and you don't have to give a lot of information. Men and women in our armed forces are trained to never show signs of weakness, preventing many from realizing post-traumatic stress disorder is taking over their lives. I never could relax. I never could sleep, and it just made me so edgy. It affected everything in my life, but you don't realize it because that's just the nature of the beast. You just power through. You wake up and you just get through another day, another day, another day. We are and hiding the identity of this war hero and high-ranking Special Ops Command soldier because he is still in active service. But he wants to speak out to help other soldiers. Like I said, the biggest thing is that guys understand that you don't have to power through anymore. You can get help. There are things other than medication other than long waiting at the VA. He's talking about help he received from this woman, like, Dr. This Carrie this Elk, who in this video shows me how imaginal exposure therapy, a brief so treatment, a can help soldiers compartmentalize traumatic and events. It's and it's through the Elk Institute there, Foundation, which is another plus. Soldiers don't need to meet certain criteria. Do I meet a criteria? Do I have this coverage or that coverage? Who do you have to tell if I come see you? This way, if it's just a nonprofit, they don't have to pay for any treatment. I rely on donations from Americans who want to take care of them. They will come in and get the help that they need and be on their way. For this two Bronze Star recipient, this alternative treatment offered by Dr. Elk turned his life around in one treatment. And for the first time in 10 years, I slept. And I think I slept for like 12 hours. I would imagine by getting the help that you need, mm. and now you're going right back into active duty, you're taking mm. off today. Mm. I would imagine now with the help under your belt, you're probably even a better leader in our military. Yes, ma'am. Better leader, better husband, better father, better friend. The hope is to help others through community-based treatment centers so those in our military can get the help they need now. Now, again, charity organizations like the Elk Institute depend on donations to keep it up and running. So that is a, a key factor. And if you do want to find out more about that, I've posted everything on WFLA.com.